on May 5th of 1945, the Canadian general Charles Fox and the German commander-in-chief Blaskovich reached an agreement on the capitulation of German forces in the Netherlands. And since then, on May 5th, we celebrate the end of the occupation by Nazi Germany during World War II. Freedom, democracy and human rights are the pillars and we celebrate in huge festivals throughout the country. This week I am playing a game that recreates that day that the liberation of Northern Europe started. This week I am playing D-Day Dice. D-Day Dice is a co-op game where each player is the leader of a military allied squad that tries to fight its way up the path to the bunker and try and destroy it. Every round the players roll their six dice and add stuff to their unit. And if you're lucky you can get some cool color bonuses. The map is tricky and there are some nifty problems you need to work around like mines, barbed wire and machine guns. The game comes with a bunch of maps and they all represent different parts of the beach. The game comes with different expansions and my favorite is the one where one player takes on the role of the Germans. I really enjoy this game and maybe you will as well. So maybe you can check it out. It's called D-Day Dice. Thanks for watching. See you next week.